Hi, this is Matt Parker, Tutorial Services, here to help business set up IT systems, here to help students with the coursework, and here to help teachers with their administration. Now, I've got a simple access table here, which I created in Access 2007. And what you're going to learn about to do today is you're going to learn how to validate the date of birth field so that nobody who's less than 18 can enter data into the system, or rather be entered into the system. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to change that validation statement so it works both ways either less than or more than the other thing I want to show you how to do is how to calculate the age using a query okay let's start with the validation first okay I've got a table set up set up here and you can see it's got just four fields very easy table it's got a primary key and I've set the date of birth to date and time and to short date now, I've got a validation rule in here that I'm going to put, which is going to stop people who are less than 18 being entered into the system. Firstly, I'm going to put some validation text in. So please do not enter a person less than 18. Now, descriptive error messages, very important in the coursework and very important to help users be able to use your system correctly. Now, the validation rule, obviously, it's less than 18 years old. So I start with a less than sign. I then use the date function and I take away 365.25 times 18, which I know I'm going to impress you with my maths. Is that figure there? Now, with as with this problem, as with the other problem, if you struggle to see this formula, I'm going to copy and paste it and put it in the comments under this video, okay, just to help you all out. So you can see here I've got a validation rule, which stops people who are younger than 18 being added to the system. Now, just to show you that working, I'm going to close the table and save it. And the data integrity rules have indeed changed. And the existing data, which is no data, does validate the new settings. Now, I'm going to open my employee table, and this will work even if you access through a, this through a form, by the way. I'm going to put my birthday in. So I was born on the 7th of 3rd, 71. And you can see that I'm accepted. Indeed, it put my birthday in wrong. Okay, so I'll just rub that out. 7, 3, 71. Now, I am going to now enter, I've got three daughters. The youngest is Nadia. I'm going to put her birthday in, which is the 1st, the 6th, 2001. And it's rejected. So, okay, then I'll put in my middle daughter, who's called Sophia, and she was born on the 19th of June, 1999. And it's rejected. And I'm now going to put in my oldest daughter, who was born on the 1st of the 11th, 1996. And it's been accepted. Okay, so let's just recap what we did there. Okay, the first thing we did was we opened our table in Design View, we selected the relevant field. We put in an error message under validation text and we put in our data validation rule. So nobody less than 18 can put their details into this system or so, or rather have their details put into the system. The number there signifies 365, 365.25 times 18. Now, I'm going to close that down. OK, now we're going to create a query which calculates the age. Now, to do this, I'm going to use the wizard and I'm going to add the employee table and I'm going to close that and now this is a calculated field so I want the employee ID to be displayed and it's a calculated field so I start off with age and put in a full colon. I then put in INT for integer. I'm going to put in two brackets and then I'm going to use the date function again and remember this function will be copied and pasted below for those people who are a bit lazy. I'm going to minus the date of birth you must remember when doing this that, well, I'm going to remember to close the brackets, but when you're referencing fields in a table, if there's more than one table in the query, you can close it with square brackets and to signify the end of the table and the beginning of the field in the query or the table, you'd use an apostrophe. Now, I'm going to divide that by 365.25 and I'm going to close my brackets. I'm just going to widen that so you can see, but don't worry if you, if you haven't quite got it because it will be below. I'm going to run the query and you can see it's calculated the ages. My age is 44 and my eldest daughter, Layla, is 18. And that's it. OK, I'm going to 
save that query now. I'm using the proper naming convention. I'm going to call it QRY age. And I'm going to show it you again in design view. Remember, we added the table. We add in the word age with a colon to signify it as a calculated field. Int for integer, so it rounds down. Two brackets, the date function, minus the date of birth. Now you'll notice it's put square brackets in here. If it was referencing the table, it would put TBL employee in square brackets and then an apostrophe. Forward slash, which means divide, 365.25, and then I close my brackets. Now I'm going to click on X here, and hopefully I'm within my time limit. And I just want to thank you for listening.